the internationals have a huge hole to climb out of if they're to win the 2017 President's Cup as the U.S. team built a six-point lead on Friday at Liberty National. The home team dominated today's 5-4 ball matches, winning the day 4.5 to 0.5 building the biggest lead after two rounds in President's Cup history, 8 to 2 dots so large is the lead, there is a chance this year's President's Cup could be wrapped up before the Sunday singles matches. The lone highlight of the International's Day came from Adam Hadwin and Hideki Matsuyama who were able to avoid the whitewash by splitting the point with Patrick Reed and Jordan Spieth. Birdies from Reed and Spieth on 15 and 16 respectively ensured a tie at the end of 18 holes. It only took 13 holes for Charlie Hoffman and Kevin Chappell to record a dominant win over an Urban Lahiri and Charles Schwartzel. They flew out of the gate scoring on three of the first four holes and would win 6-5. Johnny Vegas and Adam Scott looked set to steal one back over Dustin Johnson and Brooks Kopka, leading one up after six, and were all square at the turn. World number one Johnson caught fire on the back nine and wrapped up the match for the U.S. on the 16th winning 3-2. Perhaps the most significant win by the U.S., however, was Ricky Fowler and Justin Thomas over Louis Estuzin and Brandon Grace who were previously undefeated as a pairing in the President's Cup. The South Africans only scored on the sixth hole before Fowler and Thomas wrapped up the match on the 16th for a 3-2 win. Once again, the Australian pairing of Mark Leishman and Jason Day looked in complete control, leading two up at the turn against Kevin Kisner and Phil Mickelson. Mickelson again came up trumps on the President's Cup stage, all square before a clutch birdie on the 18th from the veteran, stole the match from the Aussies one up. The lead the U.S. currently hold is certainly a big mountain to climb, and the international team will look to take advantage of the four foursomes and four four-ball matches to take place tomorrow before the 12 singles matches on Sunday. For full scores visit presidentscup.com.